Hello, this is your host on MGTOW is Freedom. I'm John and you're not, but we all have the same problems, right? Welcome to MGTOW is Freedom, by the way. MGTOW, men going their own way, that is denying, denying women the control in our lives that we have, personally, socially, professionally, even politically, we need to put an end, end to the manipulative, psychological, legal control system that we are being destroyed with as men. And I know that there are women that watch these channels, the MGTOW channels. I know they're out there and I don't care, right? And they wanna complain that men use women, boo hoo hoo, right? If we use women sexually, we can make the same claim, but then we say it's not only that you're using our cock, but you're using our cock to get to our money, to control us, to control our lives, and ultimately to intentionally destroy us. And by destroy, I mean fucking destroy us. So, oh, he used me for sex. Big fucking deal, right? You got your orgasm, shut the fuck up. I'm pretty pissed off today, by the way. Anyways, I've got a letter here. It was written to me by Garcia. And it's these letters that, that fuel the fire in me that's been kindled by how I've been screwed over. Screwed over, right? But I'm gonna read Garcia's letter here. All right. <clears throat> Bear with me, the letter is really good. It's really disgusting. And it should serve as a lesson to all men, all men everywhere. All right, so he says, hello, John. My wife passed away one year ago. We were married 35 years, right? She was a very loyal, faithful woman, but a pain in the ass to live with, right? I do miss her, and at times I wish I had done things differently, right? So Garcia was married a long time. Right? He was playing the old game. Unfortunately, his wife died. You know, he loved her. She was a pain in the ass, but you know, at least that didn't hurt him. Now, here's where the story gets crazy. He says, I am self-employed and have my own rental fleet of equipment. I make good money. I am 53 and everything I have is paid for. House, property with 20 acres, my business property as well. You know, <clears throat> he's got cars, everything's paid for. And, and he said, I started dating. This is where shit at the fan. Now, if I was a gold digging whore, this guy is a prime candidate. Prime candidate, right? He's, he's older, he's well established, he's successful, everything's paid for, right? He's cash rich. Well, he says, I met this beautiful woman who is Serbian. Her eyes were almond hazel. It fucking hypnotized me. She's, you know, got long, well-built body, long legs, in shape, long black hair, and a beautiful smile. A goddess indeed, he writes. It screwed my mind up. It's a man thing. Now, I totally understand this, right? This is what happens. This is the trick. This is the hook, right? So she started telling me her life story. She was abused by her husband. He slapped her, took her kids from her. She got married again and the same thing again, but she kept her daughter with her. So I fell for this bullshit. Incredible, he wrote, I deal with sharks all day long, and this barracuda bit my ass. Anyway, she said her daughter needed a car, so I bought her a car, $15,000. I gave her over $30,000 in cash and gifts. I paid for her dentist and gave her a credit card. She was spending $3,000 a month. This happened within a three-month period. Then I started to realize that some of her stories were not adding up, so I hired someone to investigate her. Okay, this is where it gets really good, he writes. She was living with someone in her apartment, probably another guy, he doesn't say, and also was dating other guys along the way. She was caught kissing in her car with another guy. After all the love, care, and affection I showed her, wow, it killed me. He says, I don't want to say any more, which probably means there's a lot more shit that's going on here. He says, John, I know you're going to say uh, you are a complete ass, but my feelings for her were pure and real. Hers were not. 
she had a plan and she accomplished it. I learned my lesson. I can, I still cannot believe it. How can another being, human being be so fucked up when you show so much love? I did not give you my name because it's so stupid what I did. Warn the world, John. You are the mouthpiece for every man out there. I responded, don't worry and I don't judge. Right, you're neither an ass nor stupid. You got hypnotized the same way we all do until we have our eyes opened. I would like to use your story for a video, but I would not use your name. It's stories like yours that help other men realize the love we hope for is a lie. Let me know if I can use the story I said to him. Be safe and cool. He says, yes, you can use my story. If it can save someone's life from the pain and aggravation that I went through, it's well worth it. Thank you. No, thank you, Garcia. Right, here's the deal, brother. And, and yeah, that's his fake name <clears throat> I'm using for him. Uh, um, you're not an idiot. You're not a dumbass. You're not a, you're not a, what did you say? A, a complete ass. You know, you were married for 35 years. She was a pain in the ass, brother, but, right? So you went, you went and tried dating. This woman, you are actually lucky in a way. If she had gotten you to marry her, she'd take you for fucking everything, man. She would have cleaned out your bank accounts, probably sold all your shit. She would have ran you into debt in ways you don't know. Remember, I ended up with seventy-five or eighty thousand dollars in a home equity line of credit that I didn't even sign for. You know, this is what destructive women will do, and they want to go boo, who, who? He used me for sex. She used him for sex, while she was using other guys and living with a guy. She's probably milking off of all of them, perfecting her bullshit story and using her face and her body and her pussy to con men in. I mean, he, she could have married, married you, Garcia. That could have been the end of it right there. She would have still been screwing those other guys on the side, right? But she could have ruined you, man. It's a good thing you got away and it only cost you three months at $3,000 a month with the card is nine grand, plus 15 for the car is 24, plus 30 for the gifts, $54,000 plus dental work, there's another $10,000, $64,000. You know, that's $64,000 in three months that she hooked you on. You got away from her. That's the good part. You learned a valuable fucking lesson not to let women into your life like that. You know, and other men learn from this. Learn from this example, right? No one has to send me a story like this admitting that they got fucking duped, but we all if we're not careful and we're not aware, can get destroyed, destroyed. You know, I had with my mother-in-law 12 rental houses. You figure out the median price for a rental home in the United States of America, divide that by 50%, that's how much was stolen from me. That's not my wife, that's my, my ex-mother-in-law, what she did. No problem, just fucking steal shit from someone. That's the type of mentality that we have with women in the United States of America, in Europe, around the world. Canada, Australia, Eastern Europe, it doesn't matter. This is the game they're playing. They're using the legal system, they use the social system, they use psychology and manipulation to screw us. I want every man to listen to this video twice. You know, think about it. If you're MGDOW, men going your own way, right, and you build up a fortune, they can sucker you in at any time. You know, Garcia's 53. He's not a kid. He deals, as he said, with sharks every day in business. I bet he does $100,000 deals, million dollar deals all the time. And he got sucked in. Right, sucked in. They used their face, their bodies, sex, psychology, stories to, to sucker us. You know, and again, I'm glad you got away from her after only three months. Imagine the damage she would have done to you after a year. You know, and women wonder why men have fucking had it with playing this game. Whether you're just starting out in life and they attach themselves parasitically, or whether you're in the middle somewhere or you're at the you know, you're at the 
the culmination, right? Garcia is at 53. He owns everything outright. He's successful, powerful, manly, doing it, kicking ass. And they'll, they'll come after you. It doesn't matter. They'll find a way. So you have to armor yourself with knowledge that this is their plan. You have to, in all cases, protect yourself from these, these, these vile thieves. He used me for sex. Oh, is that the extent of your value? See, and that really is. That's women's value, right? That's their sexual value. And they lose it. Right? If this broad had a 15-year-old daughter or a daughter that was driving that was young, you know, 16, 17, 18, you know, she's probably in her, her mid to late 30s, maybe early 40s, still really hot, still playing the game. Still, still vampiring off of men. You know, she's not done. She may have hit the wall, but she's playing a game. She's going to cougar it up with young guys.